Greetings and welcome to another installment of Quant Slob. This is the second in our basic application series. This time around, we're going to kick off our mini series on probability sampling distributions. And we're going to pick up basically where we left off in our foundational series with our discussion on probability. And it shouldn't be much of a surprise to anybody, hopefully, that our first order of business here is to be very clear on the difference between a theoretical random sample and what could be meant by the term random sample. So we've got to be careful with terminology here. If you recall, a theoretical random sample refers to a purely imaginary activity. A theoretical random sample implicates, so to say, random variables from the fixed attribute values of a population's elements. On the other hand, of course, the term random sample can simply refer to an actual sample. For example, the four of clubs here could be a random sample of size one from a standard deck of cards. So let's uh, return to our trusty population of 52 cards. We know our distribution of the suit attribute values in the population. As we did previously, we're going to draw a theoretical random sample of one card. We think of this card as a purely imaginary or theoretical undertaking. We never actually select a card because if we did, there would be no probability associated with that activity because the card we select would simply be the card we select. The card, whatever card we select, would occur with certainty. So this is here the probability sampling distribution of our suit value uh, in our theoretical random sample of size one. Uh, this is sort of where we left off in our foundational series finale, but it's good to revisit. And uh, what comes next involves a bit of a leap. We're going to transform or translate this sampling distribution into something of more direct practical value. We're going to create a sample statistic namely the number of cards suited as clubs in this theoretical random sample of size one. RV here stands for random variable, random variable. So what we're showing here is the probability sampling distribution of our sample statistic number of clubs in our theoretical sample of size one. In other words, the probability that one card in our sample of one is clubs is one fourth. The probability that none or zero of the one card is clubs is three fourths. So we've come this far, we may as well take it all the way. We can easily convert the sample number of clubs into sample proportion of clubs. We accomplish this simply by dividing by the sample size. In this case, the sample size is one, so this is quite easy to deal with. In addition to the table, by the way, um, here's a nice way to show the distribution of discrete quantities. Notice that this graph is similar to the bar charts uh, we looked at earlier that are commonly used for categories but the bars are much narrower and uh, here they're given the same color. This uh, makes the appearance of the plot which shows a distribution of a quantity distinctive from bar charts which are used to show the distribution of categories within a categorical variable or uh, factor. Uh, if we reflect back and do a little uh, bookkeeping, uh, we realize we've made uh, really good buddies with our friend the proportion here. Earlier in the foundational series, we learned about the proportion as a population parameter for a categorical variable or factor. Then we looked at the symbol, at least, for the proportion of a categorical variable in a sample. And just now, we've introduced a proportion as a random variable. So a sample proportion of cards suited as clubs in a sample of one is pretty easy to deal with. What about sample sizes greater than one? And this is where we're going to pick up in part two of this mini-series on sampling distributions. That's it. That's going to do it this time around. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Dearly appreciated. And don't forget to stay tuned for more Quant Slob.